Quentin tells us about the best second-hand car you can buy. No change there, either. You've not got much wedge and you're after a medium-sized second-hand motor. You're thinking Astra, Escort, Peugeot 309. You're desperate, you might even consider a Nissan Sunny. Well, stop it, because there's one car that's better built and longer lived than all the rest. The Dom Perignon of second-hand cars, the Volkswagen Golf Mark II. Rudely spending your hard-earned matters. If you fret about rust, reliability, big garage bills, engines and gearboxes going out to lunch, all the usual used car nightmares, then you need one of these. You need a Volkswagen Golf. Honestly, I know what I'm talking about. Trust me, I'm a car dealer. I've always owned a Mark II Golf, and I probably always will. Handles a road great. Reliable, it will not rust. They're economical, they've got street cred. This is my second golf, I never have anything else. I love them. Well, I'm a car dealer. I sell nothing but VW golfs because for the money at under £5,000, there's nothing you can buy better. Forget the urban myths, golfs aren't dear to buy or run. A decent G Reg 1.3 like this could be yours for a couple of grand. And with Group 7 insurance, 70 pound servicing and 40 MPG, it's cheap, reliable wheels with powerful possibilities. This sprightly 1.6 driver on the G should come at around two and a half grand. With Group 9 insurance, 35 MPG and bomb-proof build, it's an ultra-respectable runabout. Better still is the GT. It'll entertain you, hang on to its money like a Scottish bank manager, plus you'll get 30 to the gallon and piffling servicing bills. Insurance is the only downer at Group 14, but this spanking j -Reg could come at just five grand. Top golf is the 16 Valva. 135, 30 MPG, serious respect and instant resale. Big bumper 16 valves like this have actually risen in value. Batting starts at around four and a half for a G-plater, and you'll get most of that back when you come to sell. Ah, but you say they can't be that good. Well, they're not bad. If I had to be hard, I'd say that most Golfs don't come with power steering, so they're a bit heavy on the hands. I'd say that the interiors were a bit austere, a bit sombre. I'd say that the spec is a bit mean. You'll be winding your windows down with these funny, floppy things. And um, I'd also say Volkswagen dealers. Now, Volkswagen dealers may be the epitome of charm, but you'll find that their parts prices are a wee bit on the hairy side. But that's one problem we can solve. Because if you come to an independent part supplier, this, you will be amazed at the savings. This is a Golf Mark II grill. Now here, it would cost you just £11 as opposed to £27 from the dealer. What about a wheel bearing? 12 quid, £40 from the dealer. Headlight made, I note, by the same people who supply Volkswagen. Here, it is £25 from the dealer, 60 odd. Rear light cluster, no problem. £19 here, £30 from the dealer. And finally, an oil filter. Even in the Volkswagen box, here it's £3.50 as opposed to Volkswagen's fiver. So, if you see what I mean, you really can save big money. These are not dear cars to run. And not much goes wrong either. Never buy a car without one of these and make sure it's got an impressive parade of dealer rubber stamps. Watch paint work too, because lots of GTIs get stuffed. So look round the screen rubbers and engine compartment for paint where it shouldn't be. This front panel should be satin black. If it's not, the car's had a frontal. Yellow wax like this is a good sign of originality. If there isn't any, or if these stickers are missing from under the bonnet, it could have had a whack on the front. 
And if this little sticker on the rear cross member is missing, the car's probably had a bump up the bum. A worn, sagging or repaired driver's seat like this is a sure sign of 90,000 miles plus. Lots of golfs get clocked, so check that these two little screws holding the speedo haven't been tampered with. And scores of golfs get a short back and sides because they just go on and on and on. I've had her for 10 years and she's done a quarter of a million miles. Same engine, same gearbox, uh, 250 odd thousand. You know, I feel that the engine's virtually broken in by now, and I think she's loosening up really quite nice. It's a car I should have had when I was 21 instead of 61, and I probably would have wrapped it round the tree. <laughs> now, I must have had, what, 50 Mark II Golfs in my time, and I've never had a serious problem with any of them. As far as I'm concerned, these are the best-built used hatchback you can buy. But if you want a really, really cheap VW, I'm going to let you in to a little secret. Let me introduce you to the Golf Cinderella sister, the Volkswagen Jetta. Now, it's identical to a Golf, apart from the fact that it's not a hatchback, it has this rather unlovely bustle on the boot. But all the usual VW superlatives apply. And let me tell you the great thing about Jettas. They're usually 25% cheaper than Golfs. Now, I bought this car today. It's a part exchange from a Volkswagen main agent. High on the miles, 80,000, but a full service history and one clergyman owner. I paid just £1,750. Reliable respectability doesn't come much cheaper than this. <laughs>